this is the generator it's currently on whether you hear the sound from here the mic is, is another thing entirely so what i'll do now is to put the mic close to the generator so that you at least believe a generator is on Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. I just got to my client's house and we'll be unboxing this sensory generator he got from us. Can you come closer, please? One, two, so, before I continue, let me just run you through the specifications. This particular generator is called SE2500, SE for sensory, rated power 1.5 kV ampere, rated voltage, voltage 230 engine speed 4800 and then this is the LG spec this is the rated frequency 50 hz rated current 5.2 and what have you so without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the unboxing So we have the manual, we have the funnel, and then we have a tool kit that came with it, which includes the plug spanner and a screwdriver. So guys, this we this is what we have: 1.5 kilovolt rated power and 1.8 kilovolt max power. What this means is, originally it can run any load with this capacity, but you can see step it up a little bit to power something in the range of 1.5 to 1.8 kilovolt ampere. And not to forget, this is also a 2.5 liter. Um, tank it accommodates 2.5 liter of fuel so guys what we'll be doing next is to um refill the a crankcase as it stands now there is no engine oil we refill the crankcase add fuel to it and then we kick start so stay with us guys so before we do that we have to lose out this segment it's not difficult at all. Just get a star screwdriver. So it's out. Now, this is where you find the uh, crankcase. Okay, originally you would expect to see oil, right? You would expect to see engine oil, here. but there's no engine oil. Here. At the moment, the only thing you find here now is anti rust. The anti rust basically is to uh, keep the engine safe while it's being packaged or while it's being transported so that the components of the engine does not rust. So that's basically the function of the anti rust. Up next, we take out the anti rust. No, it doesn't stop power. It is this way. It is it, yeah, it is this way. You feel weight now, no one Alright. I did video. Just pause. I did video now. My finish. Now, Deba, in five minutes. 
Yeah. After taking off the um, anti rust, next up you will fill. And the oil I'll be using today is Golden Super. For some reasons, I just prefer this oil because of its viscosity. It's a little lighter than some other oil. So one thing you should note is this. Do not overfill so um, the engine does not smoke. It's a rule of thumb anywhere as you have small engines. Do not overfill. So what you do is you fill a little and you observe. So if you observe just now, what I did was to refill and I did that gently. I did that gently in such a way that I don't over refill. So I was refilling at intervals. So it is necessary you take cognizance of that. You refill at intervals so you observe. And then there's a deep stick for gauging as well. Okay? So you use a deep stick to gauge. So that's it as regards the engine oil. Up next we tighten this back. Okay, and then the last thing to do is to add gasoline to it. Remember, this is 2.5 liters, right? So don't overfood the tank. All right. All right. After that is done, all we need to do now is to kickstart the generator. And before you kickstart the generator, you have to put on the fuel tap this is the fuel tap take it from the stop position and you put it at the run position okay every other thing is on this is on and it's at idle before i continue there is these two symbol you will basically observe that this has a 30 sign and this has something like a hair sign what this means is at this point the generator works at a lesser rpm at a lesser speed at this point the generator works at a higher speed and the difference in that is at a low speed it can pick up your basic appliances at a higher speed it can pick up higher appliances so just take cognizance of that and the output indicator this basically shows that the generator has light the generator is working perfectly has voltage overload alarm gives you an indication whenever your generator powers um, load beyond its capacity and we have the low oil alert this is to tell you that your engine oil is down and of course there is need to top up or refill outrightly and then we have the dc5 volt usb this is similar to the usb port on your charge this is similar to the usb port on your power bank you can simply put the generator on and charge your phone directly from this point and of course we have the main ac output 230 volts that is connected to your household appliances so guys let's kick start the generator now i bet you may not hear the sound Okay, this is the generator, it's currently on. Whether you hear the sound from here, the mic is, is another thing entirely. So what I'll do now is to put the mic close to the generator so that you at least believe a generator is on. Okay, so that is it. The generator is on. Next thing we do now is to connect the load of this house.
for the director. We'll be back. No, 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 not buyer. They use this one. They use this one. Uh -huh.